What's up guys, it's Marissa. I'm blogging on KarenCivil.com today. And we have a very special guest. You probably know him from the White Rapper Show on VH1. We have John Brown. Do you want to tell everybody about Yes. That? It's Pippi Lady People. It's the king of the birds, John Brown. You know what I mean? We on, my, on our revivalism. My homegirl Marisa Mendez. You know, handling our business so religiously out here. You know, one of the revival. You know, it's, it's, it's not a recession, it's a revival. We in one of the revival headquarters, and um, you know, we just we just we getting it pivoting. So it was good. Exactly, right. you're the best. You are so funny. So you know, everybody knows you from the White Rapper Show, but you were actually rapping before that, right? Like yes. you were rapping. How did you get into doing the whole show? You just auditioned and it just. You know, I'd seen um on a lot of sites that Eagle Trip was putting together the show, so I just sent them my MySpace page, and then they just. You know, called me and I went down there and I wasn't really going to do it. Mm -hmm. But then, um, you know, Sasha Jenkins and, you know, Jim Ackerman, a lot of heads over just at VH1 were really intent on trying to make it a strong show. And it was, you know, letting me know that, you know, Just Blaze and Santana and Fat Joe and all these other people were going to be involved in it. So mm -hmm. I just figured, you know, let me uh, let me see what's good. And, and, you know, and the paperwork was straight. So, you know, I just use it as a promotion opportunity just to, you know, infiltrate Viacom and, you know. Do you feel like the show definitely helps you out? Because you, you had, did you have a buzz before, like a big buzz, or was it a small local thing? Well, actually, what we've been building, you know, I come out here from California, and I've actually been producing for a long time. Okay. And I was working with, you know, Billy Sunday and VZ and um, EMS out of Harlem. I was producing for a lot of heads in the revival. Um, and we were just building up our brand and building up all the music um, before we kind of made the public um, jump. And the show was really the platform to sort of answer you know, the public realm. So you feel like the show helped you out? Did it definitely? Yeah, I mean, the show opened, you know, it gave me a platform to basically put out all the product that we've been building for a while and just hit the people. So it was a good opportunity. Now on the show, your personality was definitely special, to say the least. Did you, is that like... So special. It was, I mean, it was, it was... Don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> was that... Fully a hundred thousand percent really you, or was that some like mostly you? But I'm playing it up for the cameras because this is a reality. Yeah, show I mean, I was definitely, day. I was definitely over um, promoting myself and, and, you know, you and like the business cards, and hyperbolizing the, cardboard. the whole <laughs> opportunity because I knew what was going on. You know, this was a a way to just make a statement about hip hop, and it was a way for me to just get in front of millions and millions of people and just rep my company. So I wasn't really up there to try to concerned with letting the other artists that were there know who I was or you know what I'm saying what I was really feeling about the situation. I was just on a on a straight up revival campaign, the King of the Birds campaign. Yes. <laughs> Do you still keep in contact with anybody from the show? Yeah, I'm, I'm in contact with Ego Trip, you know, and um, you know shout out to all them, Elliot and Sasha, Gabe, Sharon Matt, all of them. So I'm good. Now I don't know if it's just me or maybe it really is like out of everybody from the show all the talent all of you guys or whatever i'm really only seeing you on places and and you doing your thing like is it because everyone else is not doing anything and you're just you know your guess is as good as mine you know i, I haven't even really i just been keeping my nose to the grind trying to keep more content and and put out this verbology and let the people see it um and i'm not really you know i don't know what's going on with anybody but i know our brand is very different than anybody else's out there and um, you know we have a lot to offer the people. Yes, I guess it's all about the marketing too, because obviously you guys are marketing yourselves and getting out there, because we really haven't heard, especially even the winner, Shamrock. Like I think you've actually definitely made more of a name for yourself than he has, because I haven't heard. We haven't. We really haven't heard from any of those people. Well, it's like the game has changed so dramatically since even the time we were on the show in terms of the whole new media, and um, you know, and I got a strong team, um, you know, with everybody you know around me, so we're able just to stay productive and um you know stay on top of the whole new media what have you um been up to since the show's been over you know we're doing a lot of shows um i had the opportunity to sort of travel um you know just hitting up different pockets of the country and we got you know went to toronto and just also been um you know doing a lot more um we're doing the mad appearances and, and just really kind of being able to you know meet a lot of the people that you do music for or whatnot and then um, just getting it in with the music, putting out Project Put Out the Hallelujah Holla Back, you know, with Absolute. I had the, the Big Mike mixtape. I dropped the John Brown to Die in November. And I got, you know, a couple new projects on the way, one with your raps, and then my Burb Life coming up. Um, you've been doing a lot of, like, video stuff, too, right? You do, like, yeah. John Brown TV. Like, how'd you get into that? And You know, I just, um, you know, been 
trying to stay on top of what's going on and I see how the game is developing and I've been blogging for um, Complex.com. That's what I was going to say. How'd you get into that? Yeah, shout out to Complex. They've been really riding, GR riding over there for a minute. And, um, you know, they looked out, gave me opportunity just to, you know, get a little calm in there and, and just... Is it a political calm or is yeah, it's, it's, oh, it is it's, political? Well, it's, it's called Politicking with John Brown. It's just, you know, um, there's a lot of things you could write about in blogs, or especially with Complex. They cover a lot, so they just figured, you know, why don't you focus on some of the political stuff that's going on? Because, you know, I dropped that Sarah Palin video. I want to say... Um, I want to lay pipe and, you know, that was, it was like an uh, opportunity there to just, um, you know, spread, uh, you know, the realm of what it was I was trying to do. So that kind of developed also into, you know, doing that political blog. And then with the videos, you know, I've just been going to a lot of events, especially, um, you know, just, uh, you know, just even in December, I was just at so many spots and I just, you know, had to flip and just trying to link up with heads mm -hmm. that, um, you know, John Brown TV is actually right here. It's in the building. Okay. But um, just trying to capture everything because it's you know content is king, and um, you know I want to just use you know use the the new media's to my advantage. Um, you working with anybody now in the industry? Like, have you got any collaborations coming up or any DJs really fucking with you? Or anything? Yeah, I mean, you know, shout out to Big Mike and you know and heavy hitters and everybody but you know be fucking with us and, and you know um, a lot of heads in Cali. Um, but you know, mainly I'll just be staying really, you know, on this revivalism, you know, building up. We got our own production company, So Religious Productions. Got some fire producers down, and you know, all these new artists that, um, you know, is in the revival and just working on 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 those projects. And um, you know, there's a lot of local DJs that be that be holding us down, and and for the most part. But really, I think the strength is in building your brand mm -hmm. and really um, and having that, you know. Is the strongest fee. Yeah. So upcoming, like, are you, you know, are you signed it or no? You don't have. Well, we, you know, we're we're not technically signing anybody mm -hmm. now. Okay. Right now, I'm just like fully indie. I be working with Amalgam, and we, you know, right. taking a lot right. of meetings so with different, you know, companies and just building up, you know, bigger and bigger. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got any close words for everybody? You say anything? I just want to say, you know, I want to thank you for coming out. I want to thank Karen Civil and KarenCivil.com. Y'all doing big things, and I appreciate y'all coming out, showing love. You know, look look for me on Twitter.com slash King of the Burbs, YouTube King of the Burbs. You know, um, we got a new material, Suburban Empire, Volume 1 coming out. It's just, you know, it's more revivalism it's on the way. Revivalism, it's a revolution. So, it's what it is. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs>